So today we're going to be talking about uh, whether sometimes you're feeling or all the time you're feeling overwhelmed when it comes to um, being successful as an actor. And you may be having thoughts, I hear a lot of actors say, like there's so much to do, like you have to, you know, train for 10 years and then you have to do your headshots and you're real and you have to get your team in place, you have to have an agent, a manager, you have to go to auditions. Right, you have to have your headshots. You're real. You have to network. You have to do some drop-offs. You have to audition. You have callbacks. There's the competition. It's like just saying it. I feel burned out myself. So it's definitely feeling for a lot of people. I'm hearing like it's a mountain to climb. Or it feels like a fight against the numbers because there's so many actors. And if you want to be seen, if you want to be there at the right time, if you want to be liked, if you want to have the you know the face that they're looking for. There's just so much to do that you end up being overwhelmed. And I hear this story a lot. Like I hear so many actors living in a story where they have no time because they're running around, running around doing drop-offs, networking, workshops, casting director workshops, agents, and like constantly, constantly running. And inevitably, after a certain time, you're feeling overwhelmed because it's too much and it has nothing to do, of course, with what you signed up for as an actor and as an artist. So I get it. It's hard. It's a lot. Um, and, uh, and, I, and I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. So I want um, us to take the discussion today and actually move it away from the list of things that you're supposed to do in the industry or that you're told in the traditional way of approaching acting and the industry. So the traditional way to approach acting is to learn the method or technique or some sort of recipe that will make you do it right. That's the first thing that I want to throw out the window. Second thing I want to throw out the window is that in order for you to actually book work and get successful in your career, you need to do all the things that are on the list. Like train with the best for 10 years, get that headshot, the reel that you have to update, by the way, all the time, right? Have the agent, the manager, do your drop-offs, casting director workshops, audition, look for jobs yourself, network, like constantly doing that and then looping back, more training, more new headshots, new reel, etc., etc. So you do not have to do that. So let me make an analogy. If you're at a disco, at a nightclub, right? There's always the VIP entrance, which has no line because the VIP just get in. And then there's the normal people line, which can last for hours and it's dark and it's cold and it's boring, it's long and it's hard, right? So where you're standing right now, if you're not in that VIP line and you can get in right away, you're standing in what people call the normal people line. And it's horrible and it's too long and it's frustrating and you're just waiting there and you have no power, right? What, <laughs> the, what you're doing there is that you're spending all of your time allowing the industry to dictate how you need to do things. So you're standing in the line because that's what you're supposed to do and you're just doing the hard work of the waiting and being in the cold and in the dark, etc. But there's always a third way to enter the nightclub. There is a third way for you to get successful and it has nothing to do with you being a VIP, being a name. If you're not a name, that's not going to happen. Or you waiting in line forever and running around like a chicken with no head and getting overwhelmed. The third way is to find the window that no one's looking at that will get you in. And that's what I would like to talk to you about so that you don't land into overwhelm because overwhelm will definitely not make you book. And it definitely won't fulfill you because it's unsatisfying, right? It has nothing to do with the art that you signed up for. Okay, so that third window, that third way to get in the nightclub or for you to not be overwhelmed and be successful in the industry is actually not to put all your time on the business side of things, running to do everything, but actually to put all of your time in one thing only. And that one thing only is getting you to be 100% you means you really feeling whatever emotion it is that you're feeling. You really getting to the core of your being and who you are as an artist. If you spend your time on being freely you, on being able to express yourself freely, fully, meaning to be present, 
to you being present in the moment. It means you show up. You are there, no matter what it is you're feeling. It doesn't mean I show up and I pay attention to everything and I try to look good and be confident. That's not presence. Presence is you, your uniqueness, your unique combination of traits and feelings and impulses in that moment, your sensations in that moment, freely feeling them, being there purposefully you, that affects everything you will do after and really flips the rules of the game in the industry. You, if you're fully alive, fully present, fully instinctive, fully free in the moment, your headshots will be dramatically different. They'll get you seen. Your reel will be dramatically different because you are actually there in the moment when you're doing the scenes, right? Not the improved version of you, the confident version of you, the trying to be liked version of you. You, the uniqueness that people are ready to hunt you down for, right? You are there in an agent meeting, in a manager meeting, in a, a casting director workshop, in everything that you will do if you are fully alive, fully present, fully free and authentic, it changes everything. You running around or being in that line and just waiting doesn't do anything for you, right? It's about really making sure that you know who you are and you can access that instinct, that unique instinct that no one else has. That is what makes the difference. Example of people who do that work in our community and who end up booking, not because they've been overwhelmed running around the city like chickens with no head, trying to spread themselves thin everywhere to be seen. No, because they're so present that when they show up at the audition, people are blown away. And even if you don't correspond to the type of the role that they're looking for, guess what? They'll recast you in something else. They'll write you bigger lines or longer parts if they like you, but your role is too little. They'll change your gender. They'll change your race. They'll change your age. They'll change your accent. They'll change your look. We have so many stories like that. People who are booking series regulars without a callback. People who are signed right away. People who go in for a little part for a girl and end up having the lead role for a man. People will hunt you down when you are freely and authentically being you. They will not hunt you down. They'll leave you in that long line of normal people if you were just acting, trying to act normal, trying to behave, trying to look good, trying to please, trying to play by the book trying to respect the imaginary rules that someone set. No one wants you to be normal. Casting directors, directors, producers are hoping, dreaming, begging for actors to come in and actually have something unique to propose that's not written, that's not expected, but that's alive, present, in the moment, undeniable. When you are 100% you, present in the moment, fully alive, instinctive, and unique, you're a magnet. People want to work with you. Again, even if it doesn't work for this part, even if you're reading for this part in a way that goes left and they want it right, or you go up and they want it down, if you're not fitting the part, but you are fully alive, freely, uniquely, authentically you, they will find a role for you. They will want to work with you. The opportunity will rise for you. So it's not about you rising for the opportunities anymore. You flip the script of this industry. Suddenly they rise to your level because you're coming in with the hot commodity, the rare commodity that everyone's looking for. Freedom, authenticity, presence. You're here and you're not trying to please. You're not trying to look good. You're not trying to be confident. You're just raw. You're yourself. Take it or leave it. And that quality is the star quality. When you can come in that way and give that to your moment, to your character, to what your character needs, people will hunt you down. So stop putting your energy on all the business sides of things. There's only two things in your career, your art and the business part of it, right? You have to be great. You have to be extraordinary, right? 
And then you have to be able to be seen. But when you are great, the way you show up to all the things that you're being seen as is incredible, is powerful, is catapulting in everywhere, in every way. When you're showing up as a tiny little version of yourself, trying to people please, trying to look good, trying to play the rules of the game, trying to be nice, be loved, no one can see you. Go in the line of normal people. Wait for your chance. Wait for your turn. That's not what you want. It's not fulfilling for you to do that. It's not fulfilling to you to act like you were doing a school test. Don't do that. Put your money and your time in yourself. When you are 100%, everything you will do, again, your headshots, your reel, your auditions, your meetings, your networking, everything will do will be catapulted. And that's when you change and you'll never be overwhelmed because guess what? When you're actually taking time to invest in yourself, you're taking care of yourself first as your number one priority. Why would you be your number one priority? Because you're selling yourself. You're selling your aliveness. And if you're not 100% alive, authentic, true, unique, like only you can, you have nothing to sell. You have no business. If this makes sense for you guys, um, definitely um, check out our free resource, our free training. It's called um, Stop Trying to Be a Good Actor. Stop trying to be in that line. Um, so you have a chance of being great. Um, grab that free training. Start there. If you know you want more and you want to do the whole deep dive, um, you can send us a DM. You can sign up on our wait list. I hope this was helpful, you guys. Have a beautiful week. And make sure you're number one and that you put your time and your money there. Okay? All right. Bye.